was your life as a GMA on board ship? Like, can you just go through your daily uh, course? Like, what time you should get up? How it was? And you have to be very slow because your audio is cutting. So, boss, slowly, slowly, batana, so that viewers can get to listen it in a very good way. Okay. Uh, so, I used to wake up at five fifty and uh, immediately change into my boiler suit and go downstairs. And uh, engineer was one man that night. So me and Abhi Manu, alternate I'll days stop you again. Abhi Manu, can you keep your speaker like this and be a bit, bit more slow? Like you can say 5.50 a.m. or something. 5.50 a.m. Ah, now it is right. Hello? Ah, now it is right. It's now right? you can continue. Yeah, uh, so I used to wake up at 5.50 a.m. in the morning. Then uh, I used to immediately change into my boiler suit and go downstairs. Uh, to the engine room and at night it's UMS so me and a duty no, engineer no, no, used no, to no. come don't go to the night part 5.50 a.m. you go down what do you do from 6 to 7 then what that is how you have to follow chronologically please. okay okay so 6 to 7 I used to unman the engine room check for any alarms Abhi whether Manu, there what any alarms what do you do from 5 to 6 6 to 7 6 to 7 mein kya 6 to 7 hai? yes sounding I used to take sounding tank soundings and uh, Engine room round. Hello. Ah uh, yes, I'm listening. Yeah. So I should, uh, pay, uh, my job was to basically take tank soundings and take an engine room round, uh, fire the incinerator, and uh, write the logbook. Okay. Then after seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, I used to come have my breakfast, then uh, take a shower, freshen up, brush my teeth, etc. Then by eight o'clock, I used to be again down. Uh, eight o'clock. Second engineer used to come and discuss toolbox uh, meeting, whatever jobs are there for the day, and who will be doing what, and who will be whatever eh, risk assessment, etc. Uh, that would have be that would be done. Then I would carry on for the whatever jobs were there in the first half of the day. I would be assisting second engineer, third engineer, oiler fitter, whatsoever. Then around 11:30, I would start taking another round and all the flow meters and parameters, etc., for the log. That uh, 12 o'clock, I would fill the known report and then I go for lunch. Okay, then? Then after lunch, again, there will be more, most of the times jobs are planned out unless and until some emergency or some, some untoward something happens. So jobs are most of the time planned out. So second half, I do whatever was planned for me. I would assist third engineer, second engineer. Uh, whatever, then that will carry on till five or sometimes six. So, and that time we have to knock off after the day's job has been done. Then after six o'clock, I used to go back to my cabin, take a shower, have my dinner. Um, then uh, maybe I I do some paper. Then I do some casual paperwork in the engine room for about an hour or something. Then I'll come up and relax till nine o'clock. Then nine o'clock again, I had to go down for night round. Night round, I just took a good round of the engine room with duty engineer. Uh, that's about it. Okay. Now, guys, over here, Abhimanyu was a trainee marine engineer. So everything that he was doing over here was under a supervision of an engineer. See, whether he was taking flow meter, whether he was taking rounds, and whatever parameters he was getting, when the logbook was being written by the duty engineer or so, so each and every parameter was supervised. Abhimanyu was assisting me with the noon report. And in that case, I was supervising how is he filling all the parameters and the noon reports and everything because it is done under my jurisdiction. Apart from that, guys, when he was firing the incinerator, initial days he was trained and everything he was guided properly what to do, what not to do. And then it was done under supervision of the duty engineer as well. Apart from that, little bit paperwork that he was doing after 6 o'clock, that was either in the CCR or in the ship's office, like that. You cannot enter into engine control room when the engine room is unmanned. So when it was unmanned, he was not going into the engine room. Rather, he was in the ship's office or CCR or in my cabin doing paperwork, slight paperwork over there. One very important fact that Abhimanyu did not mention was that he was instilled into a culture where he had to read books or manuals on daily basis or otherwise I would have grilled him like anything. So Abhimanyu, 
tell me something about reading manuals yaar ye kya cheez thi are what is what are manuals and uh, tell us something about your experience regarding this reading reading manuals is extremely necessary uh, ah, because ah, ah, speaker, speaker. as acha ha because uh, as sir said uh, pranit uh, sir sir used to say for a long uh, long time that whenever he gets off a ship he forgets everything inside the ship so i can totally relate to that like once i have signed off from my last vessel i have i have mostly forgotten what was there so it is very necessary to keep yourself updated in whatever ship you are in whenever you are working it's very important to read the manuals on board the ship for the equipment specific to that ship because it is extremely because in the manuals every each and everything is mentioned a to z everything is mentioned and whatever problem you will face if you have a knowledge of the manuals you can attack that problem in a proper way the way the manufacturer has intended you to do so it is extremely important because each ship i'm sure i have only done one ship but every ship is going to have new equipment and it's going to be different in a certain way more or less it's going to be same but i am the nuances are going to be different so i'm it is very very important to read the ship specific manuals for the equipment on your ship which i i tried my level best to do that uh, sometimes but uh, yeah i i should have done it more okay guys uh, let me reframe it in a better way always remember one thing that i'll be repeating in every interview that i conduct on board ship you can make your life very easy if you take care of two things one is you take care of your knowledge you make sure that you have sufficient knowledge for your job first thing nobody should be able to finger around with the knowledge that you have kare tumko kaam nahi aata hai nobody should ever say that that you do not know your job you should be damn good with it and second thing is you need to know how to manage your people people who are working under you people who are working with you or people who are working above you you need to know how to manage them this is very very important one thing that i would like to add over here with abhimanyu was that abhimanyu was very very disciplined i did not see even a single instance where he did not come to engine room at exact 6 o'clock or left and joined again came back at evening 9 o'clock for the ums rounds even though there were instances where he left very late at night but he was damn there on time and i really want each and every one of you out there to understand that punctuality matters be there on time please be there on time and now abhimanyu got promoted guys this interview can go for a long 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 time i do not want that to happen so let's cut it short now abhimanyu what was that one thing you learned from your first ship kya cheez seekhi tumne is pehle jahaz se from your first ship experience 